Kennedy, appointed by Ronald Reagan in 1988, has long been a crucial swing vote in the sharply divided court. And his departure at age 81 gives President Trump an opportunity to name his second Supreme Court justice. President Trump will announce the next nominee to the Supreme Court tonight at the White House. This will shift the balance of power on the Supreme Court for decades to come. It is my honor and privilege to announce that I will nominate Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the United States Supreme Court. If someone has seen as a, a real intellectual heavyweight, Yale College, Yale Law School, he clerked for Justice Kennedy, and he's written more than 300 opinions, he worked in the Bush White House. Conservatives would be very happy with this. This is going to set off a huge political fight in the Senate. The left is already in full resistance mode over Judge Kavanaugh. Left-wing agitators and politicians began protesting his nomination in front of the Supreme Court almost as soon as President Trump made the announcement. I will oppose him with everything I've got. Classic Schumer, he's the leader of the Democrats, he's got to find reasons to try to delay and obfuscate and block the Supreme Court nominee. The number of Democrats came out opposed to Judge Kavanaugh before he was even nominated. The Democrats escalated their fight over access to documents. Republicans say Kavanaugh has already produced a record number of documents. It's just a delay tactic. We need to do our job here in the United States Senate. Democrats are looking for any way to slow things down. You are either complicit in the evil or you are fighting against it. No delaying the drama today as Democrats demanded one just seconds into the hearing. The, the session just completely erupted in chaos. We cannot possibly move forward, Mr. Chairman. I extend this a very warm welcome. We have not been Judge given Kavanaugh. an opportunity. The Senate confirmation hearings for the Supreme Court, Brett Kavanaugh, just wrapped. Democrats didn't have a knockout punch. The vote is now scheduled for September 20th on Judge Kavanaugh. I think our Democratic colleagues have found out all of their other attempts to undermine or to criticize this nominee have fallen flat. This letter that surfaces, you know, literally at the 11th hour. A vehement denial from Brett Kavanaugh. There is, as of now, no contemporaneous corroborating evidence for any of the charges. The ranking member had these allegations on July 30th. That was 60 days ago. What you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open, and hope you win in 2020. You've said that. My family and my name have been totally and permanently destroyed by vicious and false additional accusations. We have had a fair and thorough process. There's no way anything we did would satisfy the Democrats. Today we can send a message to the American people that some core principles remain unfettered by the partisan passions of this moment. Facts matter. Fairness matters. I am an optimist. I am optimistic about the future of America. I am optimistic about the future of our independent judiciary. I will always strive to preserve the Constitution of the United States and the American rule of law. On this vote, the ayes are 50, the nays are 48. The nomination of Brett M. Kavanaugh of Maryland to be an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is confirmed.